Milou and I'm a master's student from the University of Amsterdam and here in the rower lab at SDSU I study the war zone of coral and algae. So in our oceans we have these beautiful, amazing, invaluable reefs. And on these reefs there is a com constant competition for space because everybody that lives there wants a place to live. So what we know is that on healthy reefs it's mainly covered by coral. But what we see nowadays it m is that most of the time the algae are actually taking over from the coral and they're actually growing over the coral, which is not a good sign. So there's a war going on between the coral and the algae and that's what we study in the lab. And what I want to know is what is happening here in this war zone on a molecular level. And I do that by using a tool which allows me to compare thousands of molecules at the same time. The only thing is that this technique is fairly new and we actually don't know much about the molecules itself. But that's okay because you can think of it as that we find a sort of molecular fingerprint of what was going on at the moment that we sampled uh, the coral, the algae and this war zone. So what I do is I compare this war zone and I'm looking for molecules that appear in these samples or disappear or change. And with change I'm not only looking for molecules that appear more often, but I'm also looking for some changes in the molecular structure because that might tell me something about the activity of this molecule. So what I've been able to do is not only show that this war zone has its own unique fingerprint, but we I also found a group of molecules that can tell me if the coral is winning or losing this war. So if we can find out what those molecules are, who is making them, and what the function is in this war zone, we might be able to help all corals to a victory. And that's what I do. Thanks for watching another presentation here at the science class. If you want to know more about the research that you just heard about, check the video description below for a link to that lab's website. And if you want to see more presentations like this in the future, you can subscribe to us by clicking this button here. Thanks very much.